Welcome everybody and uh, welcome to our uh, success series stories and today we have two special guests, uh, Ms. Darlene Rivers and Mr. H.L. Allen. Welcome, both of them uh, are part of this uh, phenomenal organization, Legal Shield, and I'm going to ask Al to uh, tell us more about Darlene and H.L. please. Great, thank you Maria. Great to have you here on a sunny Friday in Florida. And uh, we have some exciting news for you to learn how to protect yourself, how to protect your company, and how to protect your identity. I mean, that's the whole deal right there. So two experts in this field, Ms. Darlene Rivers is currently an independent associate and director with Legal Shield, which specializes in helping individuals, families, and companies access the legal rights and provide identity theft protection. Uh, Ms. Uh, Darlene wa is a former captain in the United States Air Force. Thank you for your service. Thank that you. is a tremendous thing that you do for us and you did for us. We appreciate it. Uh, she has worked in HR management for Fortune 100 companies, so she's very experienced at a high level corporate and has started many home-based businesses, so she understands the needs of the small business and the home-based business owners. Very important. And she's been, uh, believes that a lot of businesses struggle because of the lack of adequate, affordable legal advice, and that's true. We see that all the time with the Global Trade Absolutely. Chamber, mm -hmm. our companies trying to uh, figure out what to do with legal issues and they don't know where to go, and they can't afford a lawyer. So it's a challenge, so very important. Uh, she has a degree in psychology and a master's degree in organizational management. So not only can she help us legally, but she can organize us. That's a good <laughs> thing. We need to get organized. And Mr. H.L. Allen is an independent associate and director with Legal Shield. He's a certified identity theft risk management specialist. Very important with this uh, virus, uh, a lot of your information is going back and forth by ordering food online. Many things are being ordered online, so a lot of your information is uh, at risk. And we don't realize until it happens how important it is to protect your identity. Uh, HL has a bachelor's degree in criminal justice and specializes in concealed weapons protection. So he's all about protection. <laughs> Very good. A retired Master Sergeant oh, in the yeah. States Air Force, again, thank, thank you, you for your service, you. HL. We are so appreciative uh, of the time you spent to protect us with uh, Darlene. And his mission is to help individuals, families, employees, and employers protect their legal rights and identity. So we're going to spend a few minutes uh, getting to know you both. And uh, Maria, who do you want to start with? Well, just to, you know, listening this uh, short bio from the, both of them is already an inspirational uh, interview and a success story because just the fact that you were in the military, you know, industry, in the army or is the, Air, Force. the Air Force, I'm sorry. Air Force. And now you are an entrepreneur, you, you became successful with your own business, being part of Legal Shield is already a successful story. So what I would like to um, know is more details about them, how they become, you know, specialists in Legal Shield, uh, what exactly means uh, HL being a certified identity theft um, specialist, and more questions uh, that we have prepared for you. Welcome. So go ahead. We're start with HL. Okay, well, thank you so much for this opportunity today. I appreciate you having us here. Uh, yes, I am an independent associate with Legal Shield, which means I don't own the Legal Shield company. I'm not an employee, but the company was designed so that everyday people have an opportunity to make money while you help other people. So the company itself, I'm very impressed when I found this company because at the time, I was in corporate America working 60 plus hours a week, uh, traveling 80% of the time. I had no family time. I had no personal time. I was missing events and graduations and birthdays, and I was exhausted. And I was looking for something that would help me. And when I found this opportunity, 
it promised or it gave me the opportunity to have time freedom as well as to make the income that I felt was right for me. So I've been in this business about nine years now. Wow. And I enjoy it. I primarily specialize in the small business and group arena. Group means that we help companies with their voluntary employee benefits. So what's great about Legal Shield, you know, people may have heard some things in the past because the company has been around since 1972. What is great about this company is that it is a true business. We help individuals, we help small business owners, we help commercial truck drivers with DOT issues, we help voluntary benefits for employees. We have so many facets of the company to help anyone and everyone when it comes to their legal protection and their identity theft protection. So when I saw the vision of this company, and the vision is to provide equal access, that's key, equal access, so everyone has the liberty, the justice, the equality, and the opportunity that we all deserve, but we don't always get. So Legal Shield is a legal insurance plan. So just like employees or people can have, you know, medical insurance or dental insurance, you pay a small percentage each month, which gets you in the club, and then you get so much free included in your membership. And then when the large events happen, you get a huge discount on those events. So I like to compare it for people with dental insurance. You get your cleaning free, you get an exam free every year, you don't get a root canal free, but you get it at a 50% discount, a huge discount. So Legal Shield is the same way. There's a lot that you get included in your membership with our coverage, and then there's some things that you will get at a 25% discount. But either way, you're always covered, and you never have to search through the yellow pages or billboards to find an attorney because our company has a proprietary law firm already secured in every state and every providence. So we're in all 50 states of the United States and we're in all provinces and territories of Canada. We just opened in the UK and they're testing Puerto Rico right now. So there's some expansion coming and our vision is to help as many people with legal issues as we can. In very interesting. And Mr. Allen, uh, you mentioned a uh, part of your bio is a certified identity theft uh, specialist. So what is exactly this mean? Basically, with, with that certification, I can go into any company before or after and talk to them about identity theft. And what really uh, made me get that certification, I was a victim of identity theft. And not only was I the, oh, the victim of identity theft, I know other folks that were the victim of identity theft. And with the certification, I'm able to train companies because anytime the uh, company or individual have a problem with identity theft, it costs them millions of dollars. We're talking about a lot of hours that they have to take, take away from their job, from their business, to take that situation. So that certification is very important, very important. Excellent. So you go to companies and teach them how to protect their identities, but also individuals and you are very much into prevention because you can't wait till something happens to look into the service. That's very important. The education right. aspect of this whole thing. Right. And also and for people to understand more about the importance, like you said, because you know, when you hear about uh, organizations like Legal Shield or I, uh, other companies uh, related with identity theft and legal services, you hear the commercial or, you know, you hear about uh, these services, but you, you don't really pay attention uh, because you don't think that you need it. Yeah. Uh, but you never know when it's going to happen, something wrong, you know, something bad to you until until you don't have that problem. You don't know if you're going to need it. It's like when you have the car insurance, uh, probably you're never going to have any accident, but you still have to have an insurance, right? Yep, and I think that uh, with the economy the way it is, it should actually be required for you to have identity theft because you have to have insurance and you have to have health insurance and how can you not protect your identity when you can lose your house you can lose everything so that should be really a requirement at some point that people should protect their identity we would love for it to get to that point 
I you agree. mentioned that most people don't think they need the services. That's the biggest hurdle that we face in this business. Because when you talk to people about having an attorney, for example, most people say, I'm not a criminal. I've never done anything wrong. I don't need an attorney. We like to help people understand that you probably needed one many times throughout your life. You just chose not to pay for one. And that's because of the high hourly costs. So we like to think about it this way. Have you ever signed a contract or a document that you didn't understand? We all have. Whether it's a cell phone contract or buying or selling something, we don't create contracts, we don't get them signed, and then we get caught up. Uh, we may have had landlord tenant issues and we don't know what to do. Uh, I know that me personally, I've had issues with the landlord before. I was only renting for two months and I kept asking for the contract and she kept saying it's coming, it's coming. And then before you know it, my two months was up because I was looking for a permanent place. And then she sent me, she said, you're not getting your security deposit back. And she started naming all these things that I owed for, which I didn't. And I tried to negotiate with her as we all do. And then I finally said, let me get my attorney to call you. And sure enough, with Legal Shield, you have access. So it does not cost me anything, unlimited access. I can pick up the phone and call my attorney or just tap the button on my phone 24 seven. And I can get access and I can get the right answers to the right questions at the right time. And when I called my attorney, they said, well, I said, well, I don't have a contract. I don't know if there's anything I can do. And they said, she doesn't have a contract either. And they started quoting all the laws that she had broken. And sure oh. enough, when they wrote her a letter, she called me crying. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here's your money. So it's the power of having someone on your side at the right time. So people say, well, I don't need an attorney. Yes, you do. And we even talk about stages of life, incidents. So as a teenager, you know, I have a grandson. I know I don't look it. Grandson already? No way. You don't look like a grandma. Wow. <laughs> Who's in college. So his first year of college, he got three speeding tickets. But because of Legal Shield, he could take a picture of that ticket at the scene, and it was already, already sent to the law firm. He did not have to miss football practice or school to go to traffic school or go to court. Wow. His mom did not have to take time off from work to go to his location. And my car insurance didn't go up because he's on my policy because we had legal shield. Two of the tickets were thrown out and one, he only had to pay a fine. That is huge. Now he has since learned to slow down. Yeah, but just I having hope that so. fine that we know he has protection while he's away at college is huge. So as teenagers or teenage drivers, they need protection. If Absolutely. you're young and just getting married, we do everything from your prenup to the postnup. <laughs> we can help you with uncontested divorce, name change. We can help you with marriage documents. Legal Shield is there to help you buying a house or selling a house. And getting your will done is so important. So no matter what stage of life you're in, there are incidents that occur every day where you could have used an attorney if you had one. Absolutely. I'm talking about identity theft, which I believe is an, a subject very important, especially now with this crisis, like that everybody's checking, waiting for the stimulus check, or checking the bank accounts and all of that. Mr. Allen, this question is for you. Um, how people can prevent of having this uh, problem of, uh, you know, people stealing their identity? What, often, um, what I'm talking to individuals, what I often tell them, when it comes to your personal information, be very protective of it. In fact, uh, um, one time I was doing a seminar, and I, I always ask this person, I'll show a hand, who in here have, have the social security card on them? And out of all of those that raise their hand, uh, um, a law enforcement, he raised his hand. And what I tell folks is just like, your social security card, you don't need to be carrying it on you. Your personal information, you need to protect that at all times. It's just. I think we lost uh, Mr. Allen. Yeah, yeah, that's a bad signal. Unfortunately, there is a lot of rain in our area today. That affects it, yes. 
Yeah, well, in the meantime, we're going to keep asking some questions, darling. Um, as uh, also part of our legal shield and an entrepreneur, she's also involved in the 100 successful women in business. So let's talk more about that um, industry, you know, the, the women in business industry. And uh, why you think that is important? What uh, will be the best message that you can send all these uh, women that is following the interview today? Thank you, that's a very good question, Maria. So as a small business owner, the biggest challenge is getting the right information again at the right time. And Legal Shield has a special program for small business owners. We help you with everything from getting set up correctly, getting your LLC or getting your corporation set up, to being there on a day basis. So just as we have a family plan that protects the family, we also have a small business plan for companies with up to 100 employees. So we have a plan for up to 10 employees, one for up to 50 employees, and then another for up to 100 employees. And it includes everything, the unlimited consultation, the document reviews, even debt collection, and our attorneys do not take any of that money that's collected. So you can have so many letters per month written on your behalf. Then they also get into trade, uh, questions about trade, about setting up things that are unusual. You can have one-on-one -on -one conversations with the attorneys. So as a small business owner, for a few dollars a month to be able to pick up the phone and talk to an attorney is huge. And to have that representation, if anything does go awry with your IRS, we even cover your Schedule C and your other tax documents. That's all part of the family plan and part of the small business plan. So I've always believed that small business owners fail because they don't have proper legal expertise and they don't have the HR expertise that they need. So because my background is in HR, I'm always encouraging small business to make sure that you have these documents covered. And then if you also have employees, then the legal plan can help your employees. You may not be in a position as a small business owner to give benefits right now, especially medical is very expensive. However, you can offer legal protection and the employee actually can offset the cost of it. So it is very reasonable. We're talking about two or three dollars a pay period. But when your employees are calling out slick, not sick, calling out slick because they're having personal issues, whether it's child custody issues, or they're going through something with their landlord, or they have a dispute. Those are all legal issues that if they had an attorney working on those issues, then they can be at work and be more productive with you. So we help reduce absenteeism. We help increase productivity. It increases morale. When people can have peace of mind that they don't have to go to traffic school and miss work, because their attorney is at the court for them and they're on your job with you. So it's a win-win-win for everyone. Talking about productivity, uh, I know that you work from home, but to be able to work from home, you need to be very disciplined and you need to you know, manage your time properly, which is called time management. So tell us about your typical day. What is your routine? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what typical is because <laughs> I've never been accused of being typical. Uh, I am one of those few individuals who believes in having multiple streams of income. So I still have a part-time job that I go to as a consultant. I also have Legal Shield and I have a few other irons in the fire. So there's nothing typical about me. The key here is that you have to have patience. You have to have discipline and you have to be consistent. For any business, whatever you're trying to do in life, you need patience with yourself and with other people. You need that discipline to make sure that you're reading the right books, going to the right events, networking every day, doing your exposures, following up with people, and then you need to be consistent. People need to know that you're in the business, whatever business you're in. You can't be in the business today and then they don't see you for three months and they go, are you still doing that? You need to be in your business every day. And while we're quarantined at home, this is really interesting because I believe the numbers are around 16 million people have applied for unemployment. We need to understand that even when the country and the world opens up again, it will not be the same as it was two months ago. 
You're right. Yep, that's a fact. Everything has changed. Some businesses yes. will not come back. Some jobs will not come back. People are beginning to realize that you may not have needed all of the things that you were doing in the past. So while all of these people are sitting at home, this is a perfect time to learn a new skill. Start a side business. You can make money from home. And there are a lot of different businesses that you can start. Legal Shield is one. But there are many different companies out there. But find a way that you can take a few hundred dollars as an investment and turn it into thousands of dollars. People have turned it into millions of dollars. So I love the fact that some people look down on network marketing opportunities or multi-level marketing opportunities, but they have created more millionaires than any other business opportunity out there because you can't get laid off when you're the boss. You can't, so that's you can't get fired by you. <laughs> but I like what you said that, you know, Ha, uh, if you work from home, if you have your own business, always have a backup plan. Uh, like you said, you have a part-time. I think that is a perfect plan because in any situation like now where we, everybody's having a crisis, you're going to be able to, you know, pay your bills by keep with your company or by your part-time. So don't focus only 100% in one thing. Uh, the other thing that uh, Darlene said that I really like is about the discipline, because especially this time, and I'm going to ask this question to Mr. Allen, because I know that we got disconnected. The internet is not uh, being uh, on our side today. <laughs> it's not cooperating. Uh, cooperating today. What I was going to say about the time is that in this crisis, everybody's saying, okay, so I have um, all day home. I have full time here. I, I have a a lot of time to spend in home, but you are really being productive? Because I, I don't know in your case, but in my case, I still think that I don't have enough time during the day to do all the things that I want to do. And sometimes I feel frustrated by the end of the day because I didn't accomplish things that I said I was going to do. So what is your typical day, Mr. Allen? Well, for me, uh, time management is very important. In fact, that's something that I, that I, that I learned about when I was in the military. And uh, for scheduling, I always try to, um, I don't try to wait to the last minute. I always try to, on the weekend, I, I try to schedule from like from Monday to Friday what I plan on doing. Even though things may change, I try to uh, um, figure out how many calls that I want to, do I want to make that day. And being that uh, um, because this virus is going on, I'm not able to, uh, um, to go in and talk to someone one-on-one. -on -one. So um, how many folks can I talk to? How many, uh, how many Zoom can I do? So the main thing is, is getting the information out there and, and making sure that I follow a schedule because uh, when you work for yourself, you got to have discipline. If you don't have discipline, you're gonna be you, you're not gonna be successful. So for this business, you have to be you have to be very successful. And, and being that I, I am retired from the military, that's a plus. But you know, I'm not gonna just rely rely on my military uh, benefits, uh, uh, my salary and stuff because here's what legal shield. There's a great need for the service that we offer. There's a great need for identity theft. There's a great need for the legal service, and and, and uh, to add on to add on to something that um that I I, I I like talking about, I had a situation whereby this legal shield membership saved me a half a million dollars. Wow. Yeah, we're, we're having an issue with the internet, and every time he's saying something so important, we got disconnected. So what we're gonna do is to put just credit on everything that he was saying. Yes. Yes. <laughs> And that but, is a uh, we're gonna get back to hope he can come back and share that story with you because it's one of the least used portions of our benefit program, but it helps save him lots of money. So I know that his connection is going in and out, but if he comes back, you would love to hear that story. That's okay. You know, we also understand that nothing is perfect. If you are you do um life events, you also have some we exactly problems <laughs> and now we're doing everybody's using internet so imagine how busy the internet is millions and millions of people yes. that is uh, joining zoom and also trying to use the internet somehow but um i have another question related to the crisis that we're living in how you see that um the near future is gonna be what do you think is gonna happen with the small businesses well uh as i said there will be a new normal and we don't know what that is yet some companies are finding that, wow, my employees can work from home and be productive, and that may be the new normal, that you don't go back to the big buildings as many people. Uh, some small businesses, unfortunately, will not survive this uh, shutdown. Um, 
and unfortunately that's the way it is but then use that as an opportunity what can i learn from this and what can i do differently going forward see in life you either win or you learn see most people say win or lose you don't lose anything in life as long as you can learn something from it so with a small business owner you have to look at was i prepared did i have enough bandwidth you know what can i do differently going forward and a lot of people are finding out that they can do more things from home now where you thought you needed a brick and mortar building, you're finding you can do your business from home without the overhead. That's another thing I love about the direct selling market because we have no overhead. We That's have true. no That's very true. Building, no furniture, we have no overhead. So your money is all your money, which is wonderful. And you get paid for the activities that you put forth. Mr. That's Allen, virtual offices for all these office. companies that are doing in home base, right? We've been doing this for uh, 12, years, 12 years. And a lot of people that thought they needed a big office and a big overhead realized that there are other options. And working from home is one of them. As long as you have a professional address at a virtual office or a place to meet people. So there's a lot of ways that you can minimize your overhead and still have a very professional image. Absolutely. So we're going to get back to Mr. Allen. Hopefully this time we're not going to disconnect it. He was saying something about the identity theft initially on how uh, people can get protected and also because of this crisis. Uh, what would be your best recommendation on how we can take care of our identity theft? Oh, we just lost him. Oh my God. I know right, we, we'll just so keep good. going here. We're going to do an interview just with Mr. Yes. Alex. What about that? <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's going to have a special feature. Well, you know, that's part of running a small business. <clears throat> Everything is unpredictable. So you may have technical issues. I'm a motivational speaker, and sometimes you go out and nothing works. The sound doesn't work, the video doesn't work, nothing works, but you don't give up. You have a backup plan. Hey, I have my printed copy. You can talk to the audience without your slides and your presentation. That's why you have to know your business and you don't let anything deter you from your outcome for that day. My outcome is to present to people, to impact someone else's life, to add value. I'm gonna make that happen no matter what. And I refuse to let technical difficulties get in the way of success. So again, that's part of that persistence and that patience that a small business owner must have. We have to become very uh, fast on our feet. Uh, we're learning that now through this uh, crisis that we need to adapt and we don't stop, we don't quit. And like you said, we have to be consistent and persistent because things are gonna happen all the time. We never expected this crisis to happen, this virus. So the world's changed, it's upside down, and the people that are easily adaptable are the ones that are gonna survive. Absolutely. And, and take this time to learn, to, to find new ways to do your business because mm -hmm. it's gonna change all the time. Absolutely. So any final, final thoughts, um, Darlene, before we end the interview? I am so sorry that you could not hear from Mr. Allen because he really does have a lot to say. I think that what we want to end with right now is to help you understand that no matter what's going on in your world right now, this too shall pass. We will get through this. And the way you get through it is by recognizing your role in it. What do you have control over? Because you can only control your thoughts, your actions, your reactions. We don't control this event that is happening to everyone. We cannot control COVID-19. We don't control other people's behavior, whether they buy or don't buy. All we can control is what we put forth and our actions, our reactions. That's all we have control over. So as we're going through this, I'm asking people to please recognize, I guess it's a serenity prayer that says, you know, the, uh, the um, grant me the courage to change the things that I can't change and the wisdom to know what I can't and cannot change. So you've got to know what's within your realm of control, the serenity to change the things I can change, the courage 
to I'm messing this all up. But anyway, basically, what do you have control over in this situation? What do you have control over in your business? What do you have control over moving forward? That's all that you can concentrate on. And then I you like have it. to believe that, that everything sure. will work out according to plan. What is the best contact information for all our viewers that uh, listen the interview today and they want to get more information on how they can become uh, Legal uh, Shield Associates or they want to just, you know, have the, the service, the service yeah. because it's important? Well, we actually believe that everyone needs the services. We do believe that everyone in America needs this protection. And most people don't have it because an attorney would normally cost $300 an, an hour. With Legal Shield, you pay that for an entire year, for your entire family. So the coverage is very affordable, very affordable. We believe that everyone needs the coverage. And for those people who want to step out on faith and create an additional income stream, we have that opportunity available. You can reach Mr. H.L. Allen at myattorney365.com. That's myattorney365.com. You can reach me at dtrivers.wearelegalshield.com. And I want to also share a resource with everyone, whether you're in our business or not. We have a resource right now to help you understand your legal needs during this COVID-19 crisis. And everyone can access that information at covid19.legalshieldbenefits.com. That's covid19.legalshieldbenefits.com. There's resources there on how to help you get uh, deposits back or how to talk to your landlord, how to talk to your mortgage company, how to work with your car company. There are a lot of resources to help you get through this very difficult time. The best way is going to be everyone. contact you or uh, HL directly to answer any questions you have. Absolutely. We will be posting that on our uh, platform in our YouTube channel, the numbers to contact you, the websites. So we appreciate both of you being with us. Uh, it's always a great pleasure to learn and talk to you. And we're going to do great things together from here. Thank you for your time today. And we want to thank you uh, very much, Al and Maria, because when things change, you had events planned and activities scheduled, and things happened, you had to quickly adjust as well. So again, we take away from this, what is our new normal? How can we then move forward? We don't stop our goals. We don't stop our plans. We just make adjustments. So thank you very much thank for you. giving the opportunity and Mr. Allen this opportunity and for all the other small business owners out there. Make sure that you have the protection that you need to keep your business moving forward and to protect your family. So thank you very much. Thank you. Take thank care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.